Hi, I'm Deborah from Skating Sisters. So look, I finished my jumper. Let me do a twirl. Beautiful. So it is the drawing sweater by Tamimi Yoshimoto. And I have done it in beautiful BC Garn Simila, which is a sport weight, um, pure wool. It's non superwash and it's so scrubby to use. Um, I've, I've been madly trying to finish it this week. I was at Rupert's piano lesson on Monday afternoon and I was sewing in all the ends. And I think another mum's going to look at me going, what is she doing? And then Tuesday, I brought it to work. I, I locked it. I, Sorry, I soaked it at home and then I brought it to work because we actually have a really warm room that we use to dry all of our um, skein sisters yarn and I popped it in there and it was really interesting what happened because the yarn kind of felt like it collapsed a lot, like it became quite um, loose and drapey and the, the sleeves I reckon would have come, come down to about here. And I tend to knit my sleeves too long anyway because I do go, oh, I've got really long arms. I just have to keep knitting. And so I was looking at it going, I hope it's going to be okay. But I spread it out on the ground on, onto the blocking mats. I didn't pull it out at all. I just really kind of smoothed it and kept it flat and that kind of boxy shape, which was what I wanted. And then the sleeves I actually scrunched up. So on the blocking mats, they were kind of like this so that they didn't actually stretch out too much. And then by the time it dried, it had actually kind of all pulled itself back up together. And then my last little trick, which I do, and I'm not gonna tell you that you should do this, but when it's like 99% dry, I put it in the dryer. And what that does is I always feel like it really fluffs the fibres up. Because the yarn's not wet, Janine's doing big, big sides behind there. That makes me very nervous. <laughs> because it's not wet, it's not going to felt. But it's just like, I reckon five minutes at the most. And I've got a setting on my dryer called... Um, Don't felt. Delicate woolens or something like that. And I pop it into that and it just actually makes the world of difference so if you're brave do it but don't say that i told you to because i don't want to hear the stories mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. <laughs> so i got the inspiration for this one from a beautiful test knit that was done of the drawing sweater um by a lovely knitter called the dragon knitter on instagram and she's got amazing amazing stuff so have a look at her if you're interested but the thing I wanted to do was to change, actually have more of this colour. So I used, in the Simila, I used um, colour one, the natural, and then up the top is ten, colour ten, which is curry. And at this point in the pattern, it does get you to change colours. So the pattern's actually just two colours, one here and one here. So I popped colour 16 in at that point. And then when the I think it's row 73. We've got it on our internet, on our website under drawing sweater sets. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure it's row 73 where you split for the arms. I changed the colour to, I haven't got a ball, it's colour 17. Olive, I think it is. And so I just did the body in the olive and I kept going when I put the sleeves on back into this one, into this beautiful one, which I think is brass. So. What do you think? I absolutely love it. It's really warm. Yesterday when it was it's been in the dryer. It's been in the dryer. No, it was 23 degrees yesterday. It was my very first wear of it. And I was so busting to wear it. It's so like, Oh my God, I'm so hot. <laughs> and it's not because it's my age. <laughs> Looks gorgeous. Yeah. So... We do have um, sets, not, well, my one's not in stock at the yeah. moment, but we might try and put it on pre-order and um, see how we drive.